classmates. What do you see here? This is an electronic candle made with the breadboard. Electronic candle light. From the simple imitation of a candle's appearance, an LED wick is created. Developing to current wind and sound-controlled candle lights, the functionality has become stronger and stronger. They can sense sound and wind. The colors are also becoming more diverse. Safe, environmentally friendly, and elegant. They can avoid the occurrence of open flames, suitable for various candle holders and other decorations. The task of this project is to design an electronic candle to make it automatically go out during the day and automatically light up at night. Do you all want to design your own circuits? And build them to achieve this. Now let's move on to the electronic candle circuit. We will learn about the core device used, the integrated operational amplifier. The teaching objectives of this section are: one, to be able to recognize integrated operational amplifier symbols; two. To be able to read the model of the integrated operational amplifier and identify the pins. What is an integrated circuit? Integrated circuits emerged in the early 1960s as a new type of electronic device. It is made by fabricating many semiconductor transistors, diodes, resistors, and capacitors. Etc. On a small piece of silicon monocrystal, achieving the integration of components, circuits, and systems. The electron tube was introduced in 1904. Scientists explored for more than 40 years and developed the transistor. It was not until 1958. That integrated circuits were successfully developed. The development of science and technology is the result of the hard work and research of countless great people over the years. The development of science is a long and arduous process. It has condensed the sweat and wisdom of many people who love electronic technology. Their sweat and wisdom. We can't accomplish anything in one fell swoop. We need to calm down and study diligently, and welcome the dawn in countless hardships and sweat. Integrated circuits can be divided into two major categories: analog and digital. Digital integrated circuits are used to generate and process various digital signals. Analog integrated circuits are used to generate, amplify, and process various analog signals. There are many types of analog integrated circuits. The integrated operational amplifier is one of them. Sometimes it is referred to as an integrated op amp. In fact. An integrated op amp is a directly coupled multi-stage amplifier with a high voltage gain, high input resistance, and low output resistance. In the early stages of development, integrated op amps were mainly used in analog computers to perform various mathematical operations, hence the name. But its application range has now far exceeded mathematical operations. It involves signal generation, transformation, 
and processing, power voltage stabilization, active filtering, measurement, and automatic control, etc. Compared with discrete components such as diodes and transistors, circuits have the following characteristics. 1. The relative error of components values is small because all components in the circuit are made on the same silicon chip. Using the same manufacturing process, it is easy to make components with basically the same parameters. And the parameters of the components on the same silicon chip have the same directional deviation. The temperature uniformity is good. This is particularly advantageous for manufacturing differential amplifiers. 2. The resistors in the circuit are made by using the body resistance of silicon semiconductors. The resistance value range is limited, generally. It is between tens of ohms to 20 kilo ohms. Large resistors are often replaced by transistor current sources. 3. The diodes used in the circuit are generally replaced by the emitter junction of an NPN transistor. That is, the base and collector are short-circuited commonly used for temperature compensation or voltage shift circuits. 4. Circuits using composite structures Because the performance of composite structure circuits is better and the production does not increase much difficulty. Therefore, composite tubes are often used in integrated circuits. Common emitter Common base Common collector Common base And other combined circuits 5. The capacitors in the circuit are often made up of the junction capacitance of PN junctions. Therefore, its capacity is not large. Generally, it is a few to tens of microfarad if larger an external capacitor component is used. It is more difficult to make inductors. So, integrated circuits all use direct coupling methods. There are many types of integrated operational amplifiers, but in terms of circuit structure, they are mostly composed of an input stage, an intermediate state, an output stage, and a bias circuit, four parts in total. In addition, there are some auxiliary circuits, one, the task of input stage is to achieve as little zero drift and input current as possible, to achieve as high an input resistance as possible, and the input voltage change range. It is composed of a differential amplification circuit with a constant current source. It is the key part of the entire operational amplifier. Two. The task of the intermediate stage is to achieve single-ended and level shifting, while also providing sufficient voltage amplification for the entire amplification circuit. It is generally composed of one to two stages of direct current amplifiers. Three. The task of the output stage is to ensure that the operational amplifier has a certain amplitude of output voltage and output current, and to isolate the load from the input end. It is generally composed of a single-ended or complementary emitter follower. Some also have overcurrent protection circuits. For the task of bias circuit is to provide a stable bias current for each amplification stage. It mainly includes mirror current sources and miracle current sources. Auxiliary circuits include zero adjustment circuits, overload protection circuits for output tubes, and automatic temperature control circuits. 
There are three common types of integrated optional amplifier component shapes, as shown in the figure. They are called dual inline package (DIP), flat package, and round can package. The position of each pin in the circuit, the function and purpose can be found in the device manual or product instructions. The circuit symbol for the integrated operational amplifier is shown in the figure. It has two input ends. The hyphen sign indicates the inverse input end when the input signal UI1 is input from here. The output signal U0 is inverse to the input UI1. The plus sign indicates the non-inverting input end. When the input signal UI2 is input from here, the output signal U0 is in phase with the input UI2. Negative feedback is usually added to the inverse input end, giving a specific chip. How can you identify its model and apply it? How to link a specific integrated operational amplifier with the graphical symbol when used? Let's take a look. The left figure is actual mu A741 integrated operational amplifier chip. We can see its model on it and its pins with the sign with lettering facing U and the end with the notch facing up. Read the pins counterclockwise, starting from the upper left, one, two, three, until it ends at the upper right corner. The pin numbers read in this way are the same as the markings inside the graphical symbol. Let me take a look. The integrated operational amplifier mu A741 is inverse input and is pin 2. Which pin is it in the actual objective? This is the 741 chip with the side with the lettering facing U and the end with the notch facing up. Read counterclockwise from the upper left, 1, 2. Then, this second pin is the mu A741. It's inverse input end. Have you learned it? In circuit assembly, various chips are needed. Correctly identifying chip pins can ensure the circuit is assembled correctly. The content of this class ends here. Goodbye, classmates.